When you arrive to Istanbul, I would only suggest changing enough money that you need to get to your hotel. Like most airports in the world, Istanbul airport doesn't have the best rates and you can find better rates inside the city. So yeah, just enough for a taxi or a bus uh, to get to the hotel, maybe something to, to eat in the night, if you are there in the night. Um, the best rates can be found at Grand Bazaar, some of the best rates in Istanbul, but unless you're going there like it's in your plans, uh, I wouldn't suggest going there just to change money because um, there are a lot of exchange places in Istanbul and none of them charge commission and the rates are pretty good all around. There is a huge number of different banks and ATMs in Istanbul. Through trying most of them, I found the best one to be Halk Bank and Anadolu and then Kuwait Turk. Halk Bank is the best for me because it doesn't charge me anything and it gives me a great exchange rate. The problem with these banks is that they're not widely available. So a bank like Zirat is widely available and but the, they'll give you a message when you try to withdraw. It'll say, do, does it, do you want to exchange rate in your home currency? You should press no. So when it gives it in Lira, it gives me a good rate and my bank doesn't charge me either. Of course, you can also pay by card if you wish in most places, but using cash will get you discount in some places like the bazaar and some shops. Um, if you're paying by card, I suggest getting a travel card like the ones listed here. I found with these, or maybe you have an equivalent in your country. I found with these, they give me a better rate sometimes than Google and they don't charge anything. So it'll make your shopping, you know, you'll spend less and it'll be easy because most places it's just contactless and then go. If this video was helpful to you, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'm going to be making these kind of videos more often and yeah, thank you for watching.